No, uh, everything I show here is and has been responsibly disclosed. Uh, any payloads I show are just harmless proof of concepts for example purposes and every single domain, subdomain, brand name, logo, anything identifiable has been fully redacted and I do not show how to actively exploit real infrastructure. All right, Jays and Lelman, uh, welcome back to another live bug bounty hunt. Today, our target is uh, they've done a great job with security. There was just some minor flaws, but they're really trying, and I appreciate them trying to make the internet a better place. So today, I'm going to be showing how I found a cross-site scripting vulnerability in the message parameter of this site, and um, obviously, I hit a web app firewall. So I'm going to show my thought process and exactly how I ended up bypassing it to get full uh, arbitrary JavaScript code execution. Okay. So this is their site, right? We've got a basic, you know, um, we got to contact us, we got a search, um, nothing of huge interest here. Um, it's a cool site, you know. So we have this page here that I found through fuzzing um, and then, you know, the login page, right? And we can see, um, we can see this message parameter here uh, is a direct, it's direct text, right? That's the first red flag, is we are seeing this text, message equal We're seeing boom, 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 use a login, use a login. So it's being reflected straight into the page, right? And we can change this, and this is the first big red flag. We can change it, and we see our, our input in the URL parameters directly reflected here, okay? Um, so the first thing I did, obviously I went, hey, that, that should not be happening, right? So I ran my automated scans with XSS Sniper here, and it's gonna go through and it's gonna test the message parameter, the username parameter. Um, and this is a tool I've recommended for bypassing web app firewalls, um, but you'll see in a sec, it's often wrong, right? It says no XSS vulnerabilities found, target appears secure, and it's saying the WAF is Cloudflare, right? Both of those are wrong. Um, and this is why you shouldn't rely on automated tools for your testing because they definitely do not find everything, right? So the first thing I track, right, is literally just, um, you know, hey, let's figure out, uh, well, first I was an idiot and I just tried like a, you know, a normal payload, uh, like just a breakout sequence, which didn't work. Uh, and obviously the reason for that is if we inspect the page and we actually see where our input is being reflected, we can see it's in a, a, uh, a div element, right? So we've got to break out of that um, using this tag, right? We can see where we're in, so if we start our input with this, um, it's like putting the div tag here, uh, sorry, like right there, and we actually break out of this, um, these div tags, and now we're able to inject payloads directly. So we put in our div tag and then we try the most basic um, uh, XSS, my brain just stopped working for a second, XSS payload known to man, right? We do script alert XSS um, and then close off the script tag, okay? And we try and visit this and we see we get a not acceptable error. Uh, an appropriate representation of the request requested resource could not be found on this server. This error was generated by mod security. Okay, so mod security is a pretty common uh, web app firewall. So we're gonna do our best to get around it now. Uh, the first thing I tried was a closing off div tag, and then um, I would just see if it accepts script tags, right? Just empty script, maybe, you know, alerts triggering, right? We do scripts, um, scripts, Okay, not acceptable again. All right, uh, so now let's try something else. Okay, so we do a, uh, a div tag, and then we do uh, SVG onload equals alerts uh, test, and then close it off. Uh, but we can see we get a not acceptable error again, right? Um, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna try again. We're gonna break out with our our div tag, and then we're gonna do um, just an SVG tag and close it off, okay? 
Okay, so boom, we can see the mangled elements on the page here. Everything's kind of moved around and we've got this weird, you know, weird stuff here. Um, which means SVG tags themselves aren't blocked, which means the likely candidate is the alert, right? Because there's such a common payload for uh, for bug bounty. So we're gonna try another one. We're gonna do SVG um, onload equals, and we won't use alert, we'll use confirm, XSS, and close it off. Uh, and as you can see, boom, we have cross-site scripting, right? Um, this is awesome, but we wanna take it even further, right? Because this doesn't really prove impact. Like, you know, if we can inject some stuff, like can we actually do useful things with this, right? Um, so after some more testing, we were able to get the following URL. And we'll copy this. Um, essentially, this is just a basic payload. I just can't be asked to remember it. Uh, we'll go to a URL uh, to Coda, and I'll show you uh, how we were able to actually inject some useful stuff, right? Um, Obviously, this is a proof of concept and not actually actual trading data because it's attacker.example. But we can see that we're able to execute a fetch command to attacker example and then grab the document cookie, uh, which essentially would allow us, obviously, to do cookie stealing attacks. Uh, it also means that we can actual trade anything else, like if we make a phishing page using this. Uh, on like, you know, if we modify the page um, and capture login credentials, uh, we can obviously perform phishing attacks and actually exfiltrate that back to an attacker controlled server, which is how I proved um, impact, right? So we can execute this and we can see that it goes ahead, the page loads, uh, we don't get a mod security pop up, uh, which means we have arbitrary JavaScript execution, right? Um, in terms of this fetch command anyways, which is, you know, the main thing we need to actually do something with this um, with this attack, right? Obviously alert doesn't work here, but um, yeah, th we were able to confirm uh, using a confirm payload, uh, different things you could do. For example, we can look at XSS snipers payloads. Uh, we can cat, oh, we can, yeah, we can cat XSS payloads and we can look at uh, filter bypass and WAF bypass stuff. Um, we can see, obviously, we can, you know, check if something like this would would bypass it uh, in the place of SVG. Um, in the place of SVG, sorry, my brain is like absolutely fried today. And we can paste that in and close it off, right? And we can test this out. And we can see it's going to be blocked again uh, because it is a lot. Um, we can try a, you know, confirm payload. And we can see that once again, we are able to um, to get past those security measures, right? Um, so, save this. But yeah, I mean, we can see that we are successfully uh, past, obviously at the time of uploading this video, this is gonna be well and truly patched. Uh, I'm gonna walk through with our security team and we're gonna have a good look and, you know, get this all sorted for them. Um, but yeah, there's different bypasses you can do here. Obviously, different um, different functions other than alerts. Um, that's the problem with XSS Sniper, and that's why I recommend adding your own payloads into this. Uh, just because it's, you know, alert is like the default ones that come with it. Uh, obviously, you if you're like a more experienced hunter, 1 million percent, you should be modifying this file. If you're not, what are you doing? Um, because it just uses a lot. So if a lot's blocked, well then you're you're screwed, right? Um, you can look for you know XSS payloads that aren't a lot, right? You can literally just Google it, and you get a massive um, maybe look on GitHub. You get a massive list of payloads, uh, and you can try out different stuff, scroll through different repos, um, and really just figure out how the web app firewall is working, right? We know it looks for script tags, um, and we know it looks for alerts, so if we can find things other than that, boom, right? Um, so we can see all of these tags here, um, all of these are using alerts, uh, we can see here it's, yeah, I mean, you can you can change these out. I recommend trying things like confirm, trying things like fetch. 
Um, like, for example, we can uh, we can go back to our fetch site, right? And I can capture my own cookie here um, if I have one. So we'll do HTTP. And then obviously we can put in our own uh, our own web server so we can start a listener and then obviously um, what we'll do actually I'll just do a Python uh, dash M HTTP server and we'll just host this uh, it's on port 8081 uh, and I'll just do uh, my IF config uh, my IP is 172.105.103.234 uh, actually hang on we should do we should make it uh, hold on let me pause this for one second I've totally forgotten the payload but we're gonna make it uh, we're gonna make it public and we'll just I'll give you a demo give me one sec all right we're back um, I am as you can see a silly monkey uh, we're just gonna change the socket into cookie and we're just gonna host our port 8000 uh, publicly using local tunnel right okay here is the URL. We are just going to paste in this um, and we would run that essentially. Um, obviously it's not going to work because you'll see if we visit this link uh, we get a tunnel website ahead, uh, click to submit, you know, um, site, right? But uh, we would be able to, obviously, if we went to the effort, uh, we'd be able to actually host an attacker controlled server and send the data back, right? Uh, so this has just been a brief proof of concept of how I got past this web app firewall. Uh, there's a write up in the description as well. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Discord. Um, just a disclaimer for YouTube, this is fully authorized. I am totally allowed to disclose this. Anything vulnerable is blurred. Uh, I don't share anything actively exploitable and I do not show how to attack real infrastructure. Um, yeah, have an amazing rest of your day, guys, and peace.